Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 10th of August. We have got some new mods and we've got some updates. The John Deere 6M series by Blower, the TLX 8, uh, 2020 series by 82 Studio, the Matra Matra Old Trailer Pack by Nico Do55, the Larger Capacity Pallets by Top Ace 888, and the Medium and Small Garage by Matej Mods. Have all had updates in front of me we've got the sales silo this is by fusion it is 4.5 megabytes download eight slots it will cost you 65,000 you find it under production and production and sell points there we go 65 grand once placed if we go into our menu here and go up to our prices you'll see their chaff you can sell chaff and grass here over to the right, sales silo, there, 156. Not a bad price for chaff compared to the other ones. I mean, that's going to depend heavily on map, time of year, all that kind of stuff as well. Grass is a little bit more equitable with everything else. The sales silo is that one there. Um, so still a fraction above, but the farm shop's paying more. So it will fluctuate up and down, but it is a sell point for grass and chaff. Nicely detailed. Nice few extras around the outside as well. A sell point by Fusion. Next we have got these, the Fruit Greenhouse. This by MTR Modding Team. 20.33 megabytes download. 10 slots on console for the first one. It's 12,500 to buy and you can do grapes or olives or both if you wanted to. Um, if we go into this menu here and scroll down to our production chains as they're both placed. Now I'm going to say something here. The recipes for grapes and olives are exactly the same. Okay, 100 water, 100 seed, 100 solid fertilizer, and 100 herbicide gives you 500 out. So you're getting more out than you're putting in. But unlike a lot of other greenhouses where your water and seed ratios are a lot lower to the fertilizer, they're all exactly the same. And looking across the side, the other scary thing is these take 100,000 litres each. As you can see, I've already got the productions running. You put 100,000 litres of seed in or 100,000 litres of solid fertiliser or 100,000 litres of herbicide, that's a lot of money tied up. Now, obviously, you don't have to put that much in. Of course you don't. But because they all take equal amounts in the recipe, you're going to want to, whatever you put in, you're going to want to keep them equal for the ratio to work. Does that make sense? Um, the cycles per month is 240. And I only turned them on a little while ago and I've already got 430 litres of grapes in that one. And in that one, I've got 432 litres of olives. Now, it does say in the description for this, do I say how much it was? 20.33, yeah, I did, yeah. Um, where are we? It is possible that with the grapes and olives to be transported away both as pallets and as bulk goods. So putting in your water and your herbicide is done here. Putting in your seed and your solid fertilizer is done here. And then we've got a taking out pipe here. Now I've got them on storing. I assume that's what you would have to do unless you're selling them or distributing them elsewhere. Pallets will spawn here, and as far as I'm aware, the pallets are 2,000 litres. I'm pretty sure they're 2,000 litres. So what I'm going to do is just speed up time, because I'm curious to see... That's the one I want. Let's get a bit closer. There we go. We've got one of each. Could turn that back off again. Now we've got two. So, not too um, slow at all. So we've got our grapes, we've got our olive pallets. Now, I don't know whether or not, if I go to the back there, will it take them from these? Or because these are already spawned, it, it's a weird one. It doesn't really explain. Um, so what I'll do is go into the pipe because there's no other option. Storing will give you pallets. Distributing will distribute and selling will sell. Yeah, so... Well, the only thing I can do is try it and let's see, shall we? I don't crash into that first that'd be a great idea so start filling pressing L3 and nothing's happening is that because this one doesn't take grapes hmm. oh 
Oh, there we go. Oh, right. That's interesting then. Hmm. So all that's done is taken what I had over and above the pallets. So once the pallet spawns, you can't take it out. So if you want to take it out into a trailer rather than by pallet, you've got to catch it just before it hits 2,000 litres. There's no other way of doing it, is there? That's not be me being completely dim, is it? These are already here. I can't pick them up. I haven't got the little pallets mod on, but anyway. Um, and they're 2,000 litres anyway. So I've got a little bit in there again. If I press it again, it'll put a bit more in. Yeah. But then that means having a trailer there all the time to have it filling. That's a peculiar one, that. Anyway, you'll find them under build mode, under production, under greenhouses. Like I said, 12,500. Slot count will come down from 10 to 1 for any subsequent one you then place. Pretty fast, though, given they're due. I, um, I, I, I quite like the speed of those. Just saying. <laughs> so, uh, from there, what have we got next? Oh, yeah. Over here. So that's my MTR modding team. Next, we've got the self-made weight. This by FBX modding, 0 0.89 megabytes download. Uh, it's on the front here. It looks like it's got a big slab of concrete or some sort of... Like it's bolted through, so yeah, maybe it is. Reinforced concrete with a metal framework around. It's a 700 kilogram weight. You'll find it... Under weights. 800 to buy. Options, you can change the colour of it, like so. And it acts as a weight. That's by FBX Modding. On the back of that, we have got this. This is the Lizard Disc Harrow 2.5. It's a 2.5 metre disc harrow. 5.4 megabytes download. Six... No, hang on. Yeah, six slots. Oh, have I put the wrong thing down here? Yeah, six slots. I'm sorry, it was six slots. Um, and there's a couple of options on this. If we go to disc arrows, okay, out on the end, 4,000 to buy, 55 horsepower required. It'll run at nine miles per hour. We have design no, one, two with the tire on there to add a bit of weight on there. Main color does the framework, and then design color does the discs, like so. So, let's start it up, drop it down. I think is it a shallow cultivator it is shallow cultivator 2.5 meters it's another one of those ones again not to be taken for granted detailing looks great bolt heads and bolts yeah the level of detail is fantastic so that's the lizard discard 2.5 oh did so it was by did I that's my push cap in case you're wondering next Actually, hang on a second. Just panicked a little bit there. No, it's just lower. Just thought, does it move or twist or anything like that? No. That's by push cap. Next, we've got the Lizard CL42. So, this is this. 5.19 megabytes to download. The actual disc arrow is 4.5 meters, but it also comes in the pack with a frame. So, you can hook two together, giving yourself nine meters of disc harrowing goodness. Uh, this is by Holtz FS. Uh, there are three slots each, and the frame there is under miscellaneous, and that's one slot. So if we go into here, and we go down to miscellaneous, and scroll to there, the Tandem CL42, 1,200, no options available, just like that. If you want to run two, you don't have to run two. Uh, and then, oh, sorry, back into there, back to Discarrows again. That one in there, 6,500, requires 100 horsepower. So if you're running two, you probably need 200 horsepower. You might not. Runs at nine miles per hour as well. We can change the main colour to any one of those. Like so. So, here's the thing. Start it up. If I go, oh, I think I'm on, which one am I on, left or right? L1 and unfold disc arrow, does that. If I switch to the next one and do that. It's already on the floor, so once unfolded, and we drag. Now this will bring up light stones, small stones, because it's not a shallow cultivator. Well, they are not shallow cultivators. So that's what will happen if you run it two together in tandem. If I close that one off, close that one off, 
and then if I go to R1 and then right stick, if I do that, so what I'm doing is disconnecting from there, lifting it up out of the way, and that folds down like that out of the way. If I switch to the next one, I can do the same with that one. Oh, that's interesting. Detach and detach. There we go. Detach and detach. If I then detach the frame, if that folds up out the way, it accesses the three-point attacher. So if you want to run one, if you want to run one, you can hook it up like that, and off you go. Although, that's... Oh, because I haven't opened it. I was like, hang on a minute, that's not working. Unfold. So you need to unfold it before it will work. There we go, that's better. So, run individually or in tandem. Just like so. Very cool indeed. Next. So that's by Holtz FS. Next we've got the Green System PA series by Farm Centro Sul. Just over there. As if by magic. Uh, so this is 11.97 megabytes download. Seven slots. Now it does say on the website um, that the running speed is 14 miles per hour. I think that might be 14 kilometers per hour potentially. Working speed 14 miles per hour. Probably kilometers per hour. Because it, when you go into the website or into the mod hub to get it, it's only eight miles per hour. That being said, that's still two miles an hour faster than regular corn headers, and that's what it is. It's a corn header. Lightweight, as per the description, lightweight and resistant aluminium chassis resulting in a platform with a greater number of lines. Um, the aluminium construction makes the platform lightweight. Yeah, that's basically what it's saying. Uh, if we go up to our corn headers, out to the end, 53 grand, which isn't too bad. That's the start price, though. We've got an 8.2 metre, 8.8 metre, 9.4, 10.4, 11.4, or a 12.4. The price only goes up by 28 grand, so 81,000 for a 12.4 metre. That's not too bad. Then you've got tilt setting, so you can have a different tilt on it if you want to. So stage one, two, three, just changes the tilt on there. Main colour, anything on that palette to match up with whatever harvester maybe you're using with it. So, jump in, lift it up, unfolding it. That's a cool animation, I like that. Now that's already running at nine miles per hour, but it says it runs at eight, so that's I mean, yeah, they normally run at six. So that's a 50% increase in speed for doing your call. So lightweight header for the win. That's pretty cool. It doesn't seem like a lot, but a 50% increase from six to nine over large expanses, big fields, that's going to save you a lot of time. Very nice indeed. So we go. The Green System PA series by Farm Centro Sul. It does say automatic height adjustment. I didn't notice anything. Let's just stop there. Just double check if I missed an adjustment. Nope. I think we're okay. Very cool. Hold up. Awesome. Moving on from there. We have this, the Steyr 8150 by DLTS, 6.77 megabytes download, 13 slots on console. The nice detail with a few additions compared to the standard in-game one. Tons of lighting, as you can see, as options on there. It's like a bit of a starship when you turn it all on. you find this under small tractors. The price is the same as the standard in-game one. 87,500 for the base model. It's one slot more. It's 13 slots rather than 12, so pretty good considering all the extras you're getting with it. Click on that. We've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitis, BKT, Fregestein, Nokian, and back. Under Trelleborg, Michelin, 
Continental. Mitus, just that. BKT, just those. Frankenstein. Knock in, wide and communal, and then back to Trelleborg again. We've got the option of beacon lights, no, left, right, both. Steyr, uh matic sticker on the front there, if you want that on there. Yes or no. Work lights bottom, that's round here, I think. Yes or no. It doesn't cost you anything to have them on there. So you can have them square, round, or off. Work lights, LED, that adds extra lights on. <laughs> front and rear, so why not have them on there. Uh, front of the attacher, we've got no quick power or off. Engine setup, 120 horsepower, 135 horsepower, or 150 horsepower. Then main colour, anything on that palette, we've got some style colours. So we've got the red, white, the faded red, and then the very faded red, which is pretty much an orange. Uh, grey matte, I do like that. The grey matte, that's a nice colour. Uh, but anyway, there's a whole load on that palette. Design colour, changes the bits that haven't been changed. So if I do that, that does look good. Uh, rim colour, anything on that palette. And a licence plate option on there too. Let's hop out and hop in. So, beacons, lights. Look at that. That is nuts, but fantastic. What awesome lighting on that. Now, we do have, it says control group doors top left, but I've been pressing triangle and it, there's no other control group. It's just that. L1 and right stick side to side opens that little side window. There's no door that side. Up and down opens the rear window. R1 and right stick side to side opens and closes the sunroof. Up and down opens and closes the door. L1, R1 and options other than change. Cruise control. Interior, very nicely detailed. This is nice. I do like the options. That matte, that matte grey. How about that? That's pretty cool. So there we go. That's the Steyr 8150 by DLTS. 6.77 megabytes. Did I say that? 6.77 megabytes to download. Lovely. Next, lovely still. I think we had these in FS19, didn't we? This is the Fiat 70C and Fiat Alice AD7C by Farmer Boy, 8.5 megabytes download. They are nine slots each, and the leveler is one slot, 2.4 meters, and it is a leveler. Bulldozer blade, you can push stuff with it. It's not a plow or anything like that. Nicely detailed, they sound great with a little bit of squeak and clunk and stuff as you go along. A couple of nice options and details on these as well. These you'll also find under small tractors. So the Fiat 70C, they're eight grand each, Slot counts come down to one. We've got a blade attached, no or yes. So if you don't want a blade on, you don't have to, but if you do, put the blade attach on. If you have the cab, no or yes. I mean, it's a canopy, but it's a cab. Front grid, yes or no. So you can have an extra fine mesh on the front there to stop stuff getting in there. Engine setup, we've got 74 horsepower or 130 horsepower. Changes the exhaust on there as well. Then tracks colour, you can have the same as the frame, or you can have a dark grey. I prefer that. It looks more like a track. I mean, hey, it's your choice, whatever you want to do. And then the Fiat Alice, same options. Play the touch, yes or no. Cab, yes or no. Engine setup, 74 or 130. And tracks colour, like so. You will find the blade under, I think it was actually under levellers. Pretty sure it was. Yeah, there we go. Handcrafted blade. 800 to buy, and you can have that in the same colour as either the Fiat or the Fiat Alice, whichever you would rather. Let's hop in and start that one up. So we can L1 and circle, we can raise and lower the blade. Lowering it just puts it down to there, not all the way to the ground. If I go R1 and right stick up and down, we can bring that right the way down to the ground so we can manually adjust it however we want. There's no tilt on it. Um, L1 and right stick side to side does the rear attach, so you can 
if you get up to something you're not quite lined up you can adjust it to hook up so you haven't got to move the entire tractor but we all have also got if you look down at the silver fuel filler cap it's open cover that's a nice touch very cool a lot of eyes on the top of there don't they lovely I know we've got quite a lot of tracks old tracks tractors now haven't we and then we've got the fear Alice exactly the same thing raise and lower manual if you want to lights horn same thing on the back and open cover for the fuel filler cap if you want to do that as well they're just lovely they don't hang about getting up to their monstrous nine miles an hour but they look brilliant I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, if it's not your cup of tea, then they don't look brilliant, but I think they're lovely. Very cool mods. That's the Fiat 70C and the Fiat Alice AD7C by Farmer Boy, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. Now, I'm going away tomorrow. There'll be no mod review on Thursday or Friday from me, unfortunately. A new map has dropped today, Hillaby Creek by Gamer Designs. I am going to try what time is it now I'm going to try and get onto it this evening I'm not sure I'm going to be able to but I'll try and get onto this evening if I can I'll try and post it tomorrow morning but like I say I might not be able to but last of the mods for today then all the way over here we have this the John Deere 4370 Sawbuck this is by Kenny456 and JDL Logging 25.27 megabytes download and 22 slots on console before I forget, you'll find it under tools, under forestry equipment, just there, the 4370 Sawbuck, 285,000 slot count will come down to one, it has 280 horsepower in the motor, um, I was just thinking when I showed it, but this has been recorded afterwards because I forgot to put it in, um, you can drive it forwards and backwards to get a little bit more movement on it ever so slightly you've got a bit of movement on it um options we've got a license plate option that's it that's how it comes just like that ready to be driven away it comes like this it's a semi-trailer so you need a lorry or a vehicle with a dolly to bring it out actually i've got those out i should have put those away um now this framework comes off this is the saw but this is the the bit that does the bucking up and then the crane grabs logs. Now, obviously, if you've got a whole logging operation, you might have a big pile of logs. If you've got one of the, the machines, I think the new one that's coming out in um, with the Platinum Edition has got a machine that will strip the logs completely. But if you do it yourself and you've got logs piled up, you can do it with still the branches attached if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Um, but this will chop them up, but it's not automatic. So it requires a little bit of extra work, which I kind of like. Start the engine. So if I fold the loader, that's how it will come. So when you've detached from your trailer, the yellow uh, bit will, um, the yellow bit, the yellow frame kind of attaches on and stays where it is. So when you get where you're going, turn it on, unfold loader, raises it up. Now crane is pretty much as most cranes are. Up, down, left, right, open and close, L1, R1, open the crane head, and rotate the crane head. So what we need to do first, before we do anything else, is rotate that round, bring it up in, because what we need to do is grab that bit of framework, swing that round, just there, let's close that, grab that, lift it, and take it off. So what we're going to do is swing that around a little bit. Hopefully with a bit more finesse than I'm doing, but you know. So I'm going to put it there for the time being. Open the grab, 
lift it up and move it out of the way for the time being. Now, L1, this is open cover. If I open cover, the bit I just grabbed will open up out of the way. So that's moved out of the way. That's now ready to accept logs. It also then says turn on tree saw. The saw is tucked away in that little crevice just in there. So if I turn on tree saw, that's kind of ready to go, I think. Um, now, here's the thing. Under R L1 and R1, if I do left stick side to side, we get a measuring stick. So L1, R1, left stick, we get that. It starts at zero and goes out that way and that way 10 meters. So it depends which way you want to put your logs in. So this is a manual thing. So what you've got to do is put your log in and then you decide. Grab it properly. There we go. Now that does have tension straps. The fork underneath, if you get it right, like that maybe and then do fasten tension belts that will hold that in place but it should hold it in place from swinging around all over the place so what you do then again hopefully shall I do those because I want that to rotate bring that down and decide oh that's not moving is it how long you want your logs to be in theory, this worked fine when I practiced. <laughs> of course it did. So let's say, for example, I want to do a two metre log. <laughs> I drop it down there. Come on. That's weird. Why is that not? Oh. That would be white. I say, sweet as an up when I practiced. It'll be alright on the night, they said. Right, now we dropped in. So, turn on tree saw. Why is that not cutting? So that's weird. The blade didn't. The blade didn't move. I brought the log to the blade and it worked. I'm sure that's not how it's supposed to work. Let's try that again, shall we? thought this would be a lot better but oh yeah hang on the blade's going now I had to come past it there we go so as long as you yeah I've got to actually have the crane arm past the blade and you see the blade just moved out a little bit but because I didn't quite have the log length this is going to take a lot of practice a lot of work to get right I probably haven't done it the best of services. I mean, it's a very cool bit of kit and it's interesting. It's one of those things you think, well, you, yeah, you invest a bit of time in practice in that past. Yeah, there we go. Chopped it again. Yeah, I, I, I was convinced you dropped the log and then the, the saw came down and cut it, but it doesn't seem to be doing that for me. Once on a postcard, I mean, I have checked all the options. You've got to turn on, on and off tree saw. Close cover just does that. You put that away if you don't want it. But yeah, I mean, it's going to take some work. 
It's very cool. It looks very cool. I like having the tape measure, that, that marker out there. That makes life a little bit easier. But, um, yeah, I thought you put it down. The saw came down, cut, then came back up again. Hmm. Anyway, that's it for the mods <laughs> for Wednesday, the 10th of August. I hope you found this useful in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.